Welcome to Port Royal, a cultural mecca of the Caribbean known for its rich archaeological gold mine and the passage of major earthquakes. The community is of immense value to Jamaica, but it has a problem. Its mangroves are dying. Port Royal represents Caribbean heritage pleading for environmental preservation. This is Protecting Port Royal's Mangroves. The town Port Royal itself is a national heritage site. Port Royal's heritage with the buccaneers and the, and the earthquake and its critical environmental systems mm -hmm. really make it the perfect example of environmental heritage. Port Royal's got a huge legacy. Port Royal's significant in the past, but it's significant right here, right now. Because there's no other collection 17, from the 17th century world, all captured and sunk in and, and, and preserved. It's just immeasurable, the value. So it's, it's important to Jamaica, but it's also a heavy burden, mm -hmm. right? There's no other site like that in the world. What are you going to do with it? I'm honestly worried that development will will take precedence over the historical, cultural value of Port Royal. The town below that extends from Harbour View right to the town of Port Royal. Mm -hmm. That protects the harbour and the city from bad weather, regular storms as well as hurricanes. But the mangroves are what really help that spit of land to, to exist. Mangroves help to protect coastlines. Mangroves have even been shown to prevent damage during storms and hurricanes. Though the development of areas like the Palisados Road destroy the mangrove ecosystem that protects the corridor, Dr. Mona Weber points out that there is another possibly more damaging cause. We lose mangroves when we do some of these coastal construction. Oh, the Norman Manley International Airport was a mangrove forest, but more subtle ways we lose mangroves in pollution. One of the major ways the Port Royal mangroves have been damaged is through solid waste from Kingston Harbour. In fact, that is probably the number one issue. But most of the garbage that affects the mangroves comes from Kingston and from St. Catherine. So Kingston Harbour is one of the largest natural harbours in the world. It's home to a wide stretch of mangrove. We have almost 23 gullies emptying into the harbour. Whatever you can or cannot imagine is in these gullies, you can find it. You may find old appliances like refrigerators and television. I almost stepped on a hypodermic needle with the needle still attached. And whenever it rains, the garbage is washed out of these gullies and storm drains into the Kingston Harbour. And then the waves and currents carry it into the, the marine ecosystems. We have to put barriers up to keep the solid waste. That is the most expensive part. It's simple. Our mangroves protect environmental spaces like Port Royal and the Palisados Corridor, but our garbage destroys these natural features. If we wish to protect spaces such as Port Royal, proper garbage disposal becomes a must. A lot of time we expect heads of states and government to do the necessary work. But it's everyone. You've got to change what is a trend that threatens our very existence with these natural and cultural resources. Think about you, the individual. What can you do to preserve the environment? The amount of garbage that we are producing as Jamaicans have increased. You, as an individual, just cut back the amount of waste that you produce on a daily basis. Our behaviors, our routine, can not, not only build things in progress, but can destroy that very fabric. Now buying a bottle of water each day you can just bring a reusable water bottle. And the people are not aware of the value of the harbor. The garbage is just there. Thank not you. accepted in an agreement. And if you lose these ecosystems, you're talking about loss of habitat, increasing uh, coastline erosion. It'll affect not only economy, mm -hmm. but also our identity. A lot more than, than just protective services. Port Royal area considers the mangroves to be almost theirs and something they value. They're, they're in a sense, there's a cultural and maybe heritage related value. These things should be preserved for the people. 